Roughly a year ago, I published a video where I attempted to determine just how much UV protection a coating, sealant, or wax provides. If you're interested in that method in that video, I will link it right up here at the top of your screen. You can check that out and see kind of the version one of the testing that I performed. Now, in that testing, we found that waxes, sealants, and coatings really provided minimal to no protection from UV. And the method itself was just a little crude. It used cyanotype paper. And today I'd like to revisit this and attempt to better quantify and measure the amount of protection. This is the cyanotype paper that was used in my first test. Actually, this is a cyanotype print because cyanotype was an early photography technique. And this is an aloe flower that I picked right from outside of my house here. Now the cyanotype paper was absolutely able to tell us that the UV protective qualities of all these products were very low to none. However, I do find the method to be a little crude and inconsistent. Today, we're gonna to be using two new devices to do my testing. Over here, we have the BPI Perfect Vision UV Photometer Mark III. It's an American-made unit. It was originally designed in something like the year 2000, and the company is still around. I was able to talk to them. Uh, they kind of confirmed some questions I had around calibration. It is calibrated manually, so when you first turn it on and the lamp warms up, you can kind of use this potentiometer here to calibrate the sensor. And on the other hand here, we have the Lingsheng LS162 transmission meter. This thing's straight out of China. You can see they didn't even bother to translate everything. It is a cheaper unit. It actually just went to sleep. Let me turn it back on. And this thing self calibrates when it first starts up. Obviously more modern technology, not a 20 year old design. However, I'm confident that I won't be able to ever talk to anybody in China if this thing breaks on me. But I do like for today's testing this device because it does have visual light, UV and infrared. In our case, I'm really interested in visual light and UV. Right now it's showing that 100% of visual light is passing through. Of course, nothing's in there and 0% of UV is being blocked. This unit works in reverse. It's showing that 100% of UV is passing through. I will be using microscopy slides in our testing and applying coatings, waxes, and sealants to these slides and then measuring the delta in UV blocking. And they range sort of between eight to eight and a half overall. Uh, they're not all completely perfect. Let's check this one out under the uh, BPI unit right here. So we're seeing roughly 92, and my hand's kinda gonna ruin the test here, 92, 93, 94% uh, light passing through, which kinda tells us it's blocking roughly in that eight uh, neighborhood. Now let's try it on the Linsheng, and the Linsheng should show us something similar. We can make sure it's aligned real nice in there. So 8.1 is what it's saying, uh, 8.2 it's bouncing a little and probably my hand's not helping too, but 9.28% uh, of visible light is coming through on just a bare slide. And we can try this with a few more slides, kind of make sure we're getting the same sort of results. And again, 8.2, 92.8, and check this out in here, it's gonna be roughly the same. Uh, let's take this thing out, let's try a third one, and we'll stick the third one in here, and 8.4, 92.6, 8.3, whatever, stick it in here. And no, oh, I didn't quite cover it right. And there we go, 92, so that's 8% as well. Um, overall, we're seeing these things are all very close together. Now here I've got Chemical Guys Jet Seal, and this product very clearly says it provides advanced UV protection. In fact, on the back, it talks all about how it's gonna prevent pain fade and uh, just all kinds of good stuff with UV. So let's apply it to one of these slides as we get started with our testing here. So let's take a little sponge. Let's take a little jet seal. Just a teeny tiny bit, we don't need a whole lot. Let's take our first slide over here. See nothing on it. Let's flip it in my hands, not get my hands super dirty. Make sure it's covered in all directions. I mean, I think we can, we can all agree that's pretty well covered. While that sample dries, let me tell you a little about UV light and the three main wavelengths of UV that you're gonna encounter. UVC is gonna be the shortest wavelength. In fact, it's so easy to block that the atmosphere does the job for us. The only UVC you'll have here on the planet is man-made. UVB is a little bit longer and it will punch through our atmosphere. Now, UVB is what causes those painful blisters when you get a sunburn. However, UVB is still pretty easy to block. In fact, glass will block UVB. Now, UVA, we used to think was totally safe. However, today we recognize that UVA is what causes skin tanning. It is used in tanning beds. We know it'll cause cancer. We know it can burn your corneas. Both these devices are gonna be measuring UV transmission. 
And they're gonna tell us, hopefully, that these products will reduce the amount of UV being transmitted through. Now, for this test, I think it'll be more interesting to focus on the Chinese product, although I love this machine. And the main reason is that this machine does not show us the visible light, and that'll be an important point in this video. If you've enjoyed the video so far, I would love it if you gave me a thumbs up, if you subscribed, or left me a nice comment. I love talking to all of you guys, and it really feels like we're building our community. Now, I do wanna remind you that I have Amazon affiliate links down below in the description. Those are the products used in this video. And if you click through and purchase anything at all on Amazon, it doesn't even have to be the stuff I'm linking to. I will get a very small commission, no added cost to you, and that helps run the channel. Now, the very first thing I'd like to show you is some known good sources of UV blocking material. Here are some cheap eyeglasses that I have. They're from like Zenny Optical, they're super cheap. And they should block UV light. So there we go, 100% UV blocked, 97.5% visible light passing through. So apparently they uh, block less visible light than our microscopy slides. To show you sunglasses, here are a fancy brand. These are Ray-Bans, and uh, I bet they do well too. Yeah, I see 100%, but you can see they block a lot of visible light because obviously they're tinted. But they do block 100% of the UV. So that is excellent, and it shows us that Technology like glasses can really block UV light, and even though they're totally clear. Now let's move on to some other tests. Here I have automotive clear coat, and you can kind of see the, the kind of orangey peel effect in it. And we can stick this into our tester, and we can see the automotive clear coat is blocking 88.3% of, of UV light, and it is allowing 93.4% of visible light to get through. And let's look at sunscreen. This is SPF 70 wide spectrum. I don't know what the rating on the UVA is because we don't know in the US, but you could see it's a little bit uh, tinted just because I had to spray it on and obviously it's lotion. It's not gonna be totally transparent, but let's take a look. And uh, wow, look, we're getting 58.4% of UVA blocked and we're getting 91.3% of visible light through it. Now here is that jet seal sample that is now dried and cured. This, I haven't wiped it off yet, so this should theoretically block the most UV it can possibly block, although it will of course block some visible light. But in theory, this is as thick of a layer as I'm gonna get with this stuff, and in fact, if you compare it to the sunscreen, you know, the sunscreen is definitely more transparent than this. So let's stick this thing in and see how it does. And we're only seeing 16.4% of UV blocked, but 89.6% is the only uh, visible light coming through. So it is blocking a lot more visible light than the sunscreen, and it is doing very little to block the UV. Let's wipe it off now and see how it does once it's been wiped off. And I won't wipe off the corner of it just to show you it's the same slide and that there's no trickery going on. See, it's the same slide. I just wiped off the middle part. Nothing. Back to that same 8.4, 92.9 uh, visible light coming through. It is doing absolutely nothing once you wipe it off. Maybe it's got some UV inhibitor in it, but clearly it's, wow, it's slippery now because it's all waxed. Clearly it is very little compared to something like clear coat. I actually went back and tested every single product that I've tested in the past, and all of them performed just the same as that Jet Seal. So what I'm kind of learning now is that my prior test, although it showed that these products were barely doing anything, it actually was probably being generous and giving some products points they didn't deserve. And in this very quantitative test, we can see that there's just no difference. So my new scoring is gonna work a little differently than before. I don't wanna sit here and split tenths because this device is like one to a couple of percent accurate, I forget what it is. And same thing with the big uh, device, uh, the big American made device, it is also a couple of percent accurate. So really, I don't wanna sit here and debate over tenths of a percentage to give some sort of meaningless points because tenths of a percentage don't mean anything from a UV perspective. If a product can break 9% on my test, which nothing has come close to doing that, I will give it nine points. And if it gets 10%, I'll give it 10. And if it gets 15, I'll give it 15. I'll continue testing. Maybe somebody will surprise me. One of the main reasons I wanted to make this test is because the other test did feel inconclusive to some extent. And uh, also it felt that it was just very laborious and, uh, and, and difficult to do. So this test is much quicker. 
I feel like I have a strong amount of confidence in it. And yeah, I'd love to find a product that could show me wrong, but right now I'm ending it with yeah, all these products don't really provide UV protection.